Me and my big mouth. See how your big mouth has anything to do with this. Well, I was being so grand, so so noble about adopting Tony. I made her feel as if she couldn't raise her son by herself. We've got to find her. I won't be able to live with myself if we don't. She may not be living if we don't. How would I know where she is? We know she's your neighbor, Veronica. So where does she live? We would only meet in the streets. These people come and go. No sense of community. Where is your home? Wherever I hang my hat. Did you find out anything? No, nothing. How about you? No, she's a tough case. Won't crack. What is this, Dragnet? Veronica. Chances are Elena went back to her family or her friends, wherever they are. Now, if we don't find her, she could die, and so could they. I'd like to help you, kid, but honestly, you gotta believe me. There ain't no addresses with these people. And when the authorities start sniveling around, they just get up and move away somewhere. You ain't never gonna find her. You must admit some of her. Uh, Gons, you got a phone call. Tell him I'll call back. Well, it's kind of important. He said he won't speak to anybody but you. You can take it on this line here. Excuse me. Yeah, this is Dr. Gates. Dr. Gates? Elena Ramirez, she said we can trust you. Where is she? She is sick, very sick. Yeah, I know she's sick. It's important that we find her. She needs help. You must promise you will come alone. I give you my word, man. Now, where is she? <laughs> Dr. Gates, where is she? This way, please. All right, everybody move back, please. Andale, andale, muevanse para atrás, muevanse para todo el mundo. You came. Thank you, Dr. Gates, for coming. She knew we could trust you. Thank you, Dr. Gates. I'm gonna have to take you back to the hospital. Again. No, no. I'm gonna have to take all of you back. You're saying okay, up for hospital, it's not possible. No, 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 the immigration people. Forget about the immigration people. We can't forget the immigration people. Look, the sickness is caused by the bite of a flea. The fleas are carried by rats, rodents. This place right here is probably where it all began. It's got to be cleaned out, and every one of you has to be treated. Dice que, dice que la enfermedad esta es por una rata que nos picó y que todos nosotros tenemos que ir a los hospitales. No, 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 no now, you've got a choice to make. You can either trust me to help you, or you can lay around this dump and hope the plague doesn't kill you. Dice que, que si no nos lleva para allá, nos vamos a morir aquí, que la plaga está todo infestado y que eso no se puede hacer. No sé qué ir a la bien así. No sé lo que vamos a hacer. Claro. Dr. Gates. We'll go with you. Why did you put yourself out on a limb like that? Because those people need help. That's why, because they need somebody they can trust. Oh, man, it's a hospital, not an immigration service. Oh, come on, Trapper. These people have been given a bum rap all the way down the line. They're decent, hard-working people who've been sold a bunch of phony immigration papers. All they're trying to do is make a better life for themselves. And instead, we're treating them like they're a bunch of common criminals. Mm -hmm. And you are going to solve all their problems. Well, somebody's got to do it. Mm-hmm. But somebody with influence, clout, somebody who knows all the right strings to pull. You just gave me a marvelous idea. Of course I did. That was my plan. Let's go. Good news, my friends. The quarantine has been lifted. You can all go home. <laughs> All right, all right. Uh, just take it easy now. Bye, yes. Stanley. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. You know, I was just getting used to it in there. That TV is much better than ours. Wait till we get the bill. Why should we pay? We didn't ask to be put in there. That's right, Dougie. No, I'm on my way home. And if I find one dog hair in the house, somebody's going to be in big trouble. 
You know, this kid's pretty cute. Yeah, it's a shame, you know? Yeah, rotten shame. What's a shame? Hardly seems fair. What isn't fair? No, oh, poor little guy. Here, would you mind, Stan? Oh, there no. There you go. I, I, no. Too bad his mother can't stay in the country, huh? Then maybe the poor little fella could have a decent kind of life, huh? Yeah, looks like the little tyke's in for a rough time of it. Yeah. Why should he have a rough time? You know, his mother's a gifted seamstress, too. If she only knew somebody in this country who could get at the proper paper, someone with connections, influence. Yes, but there's a there's a nurse in pediatrics got a friend who's a next door neighbor to a judge. That well, we I might. have connections. No, no, we need someone who knows someone who really has clout. Guys, yeah. I, I I have clout. Yeah, right. Yeah, I can think of anybody though. No, no. Guys, hey, you guys, I have I have a connect. Well, I mean, my dad has has connections. What'd you say, Stan? I said my dad. You know, my dad has connections. Clout? Info? Well, you know, I mean, he knows lots of people in Washington. Oh, come on, Stanley. Your father wouldn't be interested in helping a little baby. What are you talking about? My dad loves babies. No, we couldn't ask him. Nah, nah. I got an idea. I'll ask him. Yeah? <laughs> dad and I are very close. We're practically like this. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Glad to hear you're feeling better. Well, looks like the worst is over. They've lifted the quarantine. You and the baby will be going home soon. For me, the immigration people will be waiting. Mrs. McIntyre, take good care of my Tony. I don't want your baby. But you promised me. Dr. Gates made a promise to you. Oh, he's done nothing. Wait a minute. He, Dr. McIntyre, and some others have pulled a few strings around here. And with the aid of certain influential people, convinced the immigration department to go over your case. And send me away. No. The way things look, you and your people will probably get your papers, work permits, whatever it takes. And so what is this going to cost me? Plenty. A little faith in your fellow man and a lot of hard work. Have you ever tried raising a kid around here these days? Especially one like Tony? The way he eats? Of course, that's nothing. Wait till he gets a little older and starts bringing his friends home for peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Tacos. Tacos. Right. Much better for him. Got to stay away from the junk food. I know with mine, Trapper and I were very careful about that. Very little candy and sweet stuff. Of course, Trapper gave in to him once in a while. But me, I was firm. Now, you know, I think Tony's going to be a very strong-willed kid. And if you want him to respect you, you got you to be firm. Lay down the law. It'll hurt you more than it'll hurt him. But take it from me. Dr. Branca, please call the OR. Dr. Mervyn Branca, call the OR. Just what do you think you're doing? Relax, I'm just taking some things nobody wants. You wouldn't believe the good stuff people throw out. Really? Excuse me. And not only that, but it looks like Elena's been promised a good job when she gets cleared. Close to where I work, so she and the baby can visit. Ah, oh, yes. The joy and privilege of knowing the right people in high places. Uh, speaking of people in high places... Uh, don't forget, Stanley, the good stuff's on the bottom. I'm just telling him that. Uh, John, I... I... this place. If I hadn't hated it so much, I would have never gone into holistic medicine. Holistic medicine? Hey, man, that's... Uh, at this point, there's nothing else. Yes, there is. Holistic medicine. Cheryl, if it doesn't work... Uh... But it will work. It just has to. It just 